Hey girls, how you doing? Let's do that. Pick a card. The pick a card. <laughs> oh wow. It's a new one. This, this is just new. Okay, so this time it's gonna be <laughs> pick a card on what's happening. It's happening that we're trying to make a video that doesn't make any sense already. Right? This is what's happening. Okay, let's do two pounds. My god. And uh, yeah, it's just to get a flavor of this week. And it doesn't matter when you're watching it, it's just to have an overview. Okay, so one, two, one, two. So pound number one, what's happening? Nine of wands, three of swords, seven of cups. <sighs> right, okay, so it's been a mission and maybe someone is getting into fight or feisty conversation. It's a little bit of, ooh, you know, hyper, okay? So um, it's been a mission between you two, maybe as well. It's been a lot of obstacle, a lot of hurdle. There is obviously an idea of a third party here, or at the very least, very harsh words have been really exchanged and has been very painful. Uh, there is a reminiscence of those words, you know, those words sometimes they echo for a long time, you know, you remember a word for years and years and years. Um, it's just difficult to let go of it. Maybe it's your struggle to actually let go of that and it's difficult it's just like I'm one thing after another like I'm trying to forget that person I'm trying to move on with my life and it's really difficult however we are nine of wands which means soon it's going to be the ten of wands and you're going to finally drop that and you're going to be able to start a new cycle of life so you're all more there if that is concerning letting go of a third party letting go of a heartache you're all more there so do not give up right there Yes, of course, reminiscing a lot of things. That's my feeling here. There's a lot of remembering, thinking, overthinking, daydreaming, what could have been, uh, what, where you, sh you could be or you should be by now or something like this. It's a lot of melancholy, dangerous melancholy. Be careful with that, okay? Because um, you know I want your best. <laughs> so I just want to warn people with melancholy. You know, it's a nice romantic feeling, but it's also kind of like you marinating in that soup. As I said to my client, they know it's all about, about food with me. <laughs> what can I say? I'm French, eh? Um, but the thing is that you're marinating in the soup. How long are you going to marinate in the soup? There is an idea, you know, of slow cooking, fair enough. But at some point, you overcook the soup, right? So don't stay there. Okay, at some point, I know you will, because we're almost there, so I don't have a concern about this. But please, let's not dwell on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you have something so much better coming to you. So much better. And there's an idea of equal give and take. I love you as much as you love me. And you know that's my favorite card in the world. And if it's about business, is yes, you've been, um, you know, maybe disregarded, disrespected, bullied at work, but you're more there. Because now you're going to be paid for what you're worth. You're going to be appreciated. You're going to be respected. That's what I'm talking about here. Respect. Mm -hmm. I'm very keen on respect. But there is self-respect as well, right? And that's why I'm saying that, because you, we can very, very much marinate. That's what I'm saying here. You stay stuck. You think you're stuck, but you're not. You can go there. You walk around those uh, bloody things, <laughs> sword, and then you go there. What's stopping you? Do not self-inflict you, 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 the pain. You, you, <laughs> what? Don't self-inflict that limitation of the mind. This is your decision. Decision. What is wrong with me with talking? Oh, mamma mia. Um, seriously, don't marinate. Don't dwell on things. You have the right to have melancholy. Totally. Okay, I give myself an hour. And then boom. Maybe have a hot chocolate with a lot of cream on top. This is a recipe for me. <laughs> the solution for a lot of problems. You know, some people say it's a cup of tea. Here in England, they say a cup of tea. Mm, and that's it. You know what to do. I have a hot chocolate. This is what I do. And then guess what? I works. Because magnesium gives you that peace of mind. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> what I'm trying to say here more seriously, don't dwell on it. Put yourself a limit or give yourself a limit, I should say. You have a good cry, you have a hot chocolate and you move on. Okay. So because here you see, you see what I'm talking about. You have something spectacular coming to you on your lap. But you have to make that decision to make some space for this to come in, right? If you're like, oh, do, 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 forever, you don't have any space for anything new to come in. And you have something brand new, spectacular, love at first sight, a juicy offer for the work of your dream. Bring it on. Bring it on or bring it in, I should say, right? So don't dwell on things. Put a limit on the dwelling. Okay, an hour and then move on. Okay?
Deal? Good. <laughs> so it was a measure of I don't know what's going on today. Okay, move on. <laughs> it's like every day except... <clears throat> I know. Anyhow, uh, yes, taking a leap of faith. You see what I mean? You go for something else. You jump in, in a new world and so be it. Thank God, you know, you're turning that page. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes you have to have a good cry. Sometimes you have to feel like pretty bad. Yeah, definitely. Because those tears have to come out and sometimes they're all tears you should have cried 10 years ago. Fair enough. But don't dwell on it, okay? At some point, oof, enough crying, let's enjoy life and go for it. That new opportunity, that new love story, give it a chance. Don't say, oh, maybe it's gonna come back. No. <laughs> No, arrivederci to the past, right? Arrivederci. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, part number two was happening. Let's see. The Tao, holy schmoly. All right. Oh, damn. Ace of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Damn. Whew. Okay, so what's happening here is different. Uh, <clears throat> that's why we have a different part. <laughs> Something you needed to break down in order to be rebuilt. And it was necessary because what we had was a creepy, bizarre... What foundation? Doesn't work like this. We cannot build a tower on that kind of foundation. I'm sorry. No. So the timing was wrong. Don't get me wrong. And now it's going to get good. <laughs> so now is the right time for both of you to start something new. And if it's for that job, you didn't get the promotion because at the time you were not actually completely ready. If you are honest with yourself. Okay. So something or somebody were thinking, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're out of my league, cannot do that. And maybe you thought that promotion, oh, he's out of my league, cannot do this. Why? Por qué? So now is an idea of um, rethinking all of it because now you're going to be ready for that promotion and that person is going to be ready to move towards you and tell you, Listen, you know what, I, I feel for you. I don't know if I have much to offer, but I have my heart to offer. And that's more than enough. That's all we want, the heart. Okay, so let's have more information on this part number two, what's happening. Transformation. That was necessary because you see, uh, you cannot go back to the same rubbish. You know, it had to come down, bring, I mean, to go down, excuse me, <laughs> come down, come down as well, maybe. <laughs> um, because we have to go and, and, and away from that darkness here and go to the light. Transformation, leaving something or someone behind in order to be with you. You letting go of your feeling of inferiority okay again and move to the light because you're ready for it you're ready for the promotion you're going to be very busy but also when it comes to this relationship there was no ending number eight maybe it was back and forth back and forth and that's why at some point you have to say you know what yo i'm not having it you know back and forth what you think i am a little bit of a like what a puppet do i look like a puppet <laughs> with this one friend who's calling me a puppet that's okay but there's only one who can call me like that <laughs> And I know he come from the heart. Hi, dog. Um, on the other hand, <laughs> he knows. Um, but you were meant to be. You knew, you know, the final destination. You knew, but how to get there, we didn't know. That's why you had to crumble. Everything had to crumble in order to be rebuilt properly, right? And that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. You know, it's the way people go around things, whatever, you know, whatever. There's no rules. Let's not say it has to be, you know, this way, this way. No. There's no rules. But at the end of the day, you know that is it. This is you going for your goal. Which route are you going to use? Doesn't really matter. At least you know the destination. That's all you need to know because the how will be presented to you by the universe at the right time. And did we not talk about timing here? Yes, we did. You see, I make sense. Even though it's a bit crazy, I make sense. <laughs> all right, if you say so. No, seriously, I do. <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what is it? Death. Yes, you bet. This one and the death card and the tower is very similar. There is the end of something to allow something else, something new to come in. In a better way. And maybe it's the same thing, but in a better way. It's an upgrade of your phone. <laughs> not saying you're having a new phone, okay? Then not go there. But what I'm saying is an upgrade of the life you had until now. Or the relationship you had. Or the career you had. You had the good idea, but it was not upgraded. Now you have the latest version. There's a lot of hands here. <laughs> see what I mean? Beautiful. So on this note, have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.